Praise God. Good morning to all our uh, brethren in the Lord. Praise God. May the Lord will continue to bless us all. And it's a warm Sunday morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. And may the Lord will bless us, especially our brethren at New Life Fellowship. Praise God. And the brethren also in Macau. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. I greet our uh, senior pastor, Reverend uh, Stephen and Sister Lynette O'Donnell. Praise God. They are watching now in Macau. And all the coordinators, praise God, from Unit 1 until to Unit 9, the men's department and the youth department. Praise God. Uh, may the Lord will uh, bless us all this morning. Kindly just uh, share to your friends, to your groups. Hallelujah. And uh, before I will proceed to the preaching of the word of the Lord, hallelujah, I'm going to announce that uh, the unit 2 will meet at Sun Yat Sin, 12 uh, noon, praise God, this uh, today, praise the Lord, hallelujah. And uh, also the unit uh, 5 will meet also in Sun Yat Sin. Praise God at exactly 1.30 this afternoon. Praise God. I'm going to check the schedules. Praise the Lord. Okay, okay. Just wait for a moment. And, uh, okay, Unit unit 5 will meet at Sun Yat Sin at uh, 1.30 p.m. Praise God. So, if you are from the Unit 5, go straight to Sun Yat Sin after this preaching. But, uh... Your coordinator said you will meet at exactly 1.30. Unit 2 will be also in Sun Yat Sin, um, 12 noon. Praise God. Hallelujah. And uh, Unit 4 also will meet at Victoria Park. The fellowship will start at 2 p.m. today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, Unit 1 will also meet at Sun Yat Sin Park. At 2.30 up to 4 p.m. Praise God. Hallelujah. So may the Lord will bless us all. Praise God. Unit coordinators, you can pin down your announcement in our comment section. I saw Sister Marilyn Bujia. Praise God. Victoria Park also now. Not now, Sister Marilyn. Huh? Not now. Uh, <laughs> stay tuned on our online broadcast. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, uh, before I will pray this morning, we will read a scripture, praise the Lord, hallelujah, the word of the Lord, praise God, which can be found in uh, 2 Timothy chapter uh, 1 verse 6 to 7, hallelujah, 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 6 to 7. The word of the Lord says, Wherefore I put thee in remembrance, that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. And verse 7, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. May the Lord will bless the reading of his word and let us come to prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, once again for this great opportunity to preach once again here online. And I pray, God, that wisdom and understanding be given to all the hearers and the viewers. Praise God. Hallelujah. Even they will uh, review this video. Praise God. Hallelujah. Later. I pray that your anointing will move and also anoint me to speak. Hallelujah. Praise God, put the oil of anointing in my lips and touch my heart to speak only the words that brings life and encouragement and even warning and rebuke. Thank you so much, Father. Bless our session today and let your spirit will move. Someone can receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Someone, God, in this live stream can receive the gift of um, interpretation of tongues and even healing in their bodies. Lord God, lead me and guide me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I speak blessing and I declare blessing. Hallelujah upon the New Life Fellowship Saints. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, you can check their attendance. Your attendance here, praise God, this morning. And I hope that uh, every unit also, praise God, uh, can meet your group 
And unit 6 will be at North Point. Praise God. And I don't know, unit 8 and 9. Praise God. I think unit 9 would be in uh, Victoria Park also. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, I will bring to you, praise God, a subject this morning entitled, Recognizing, Activating What We Receive. Praise God. Recognizing, Activating What We Receive. Praise God. May the Lord will bless us all. Down through the centuries, praise God, the normal Christian life has been one of intense persecution and pain, rejection, ridicule, subjugation, and death. The early church of the first century was scattered far and wide as an increasing hostile world feed many to the lions and burn others at the stake. As we read of men and women of faith, like those listed in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, praise God, we discover that many were enslaved, many were exploited, and even exterminated for the sake of Christ. But from his own incarceration in a Roman jail, the Apostle Paul was able to encourage his timid laborer in Christ by reminding Timothy and us as well this morning that God has not given us the spirit of fear or the spirit of fearfulness, but one of power and of love and of sound mind and godly judgment. Timothy, like us all, needed to be reminded that we have the permanently indwelling Holy Spirit of God who has gifted us and empowered us with all that we need for life and godliness. No matter how difficult or dangerous life in this world may become, His presence will always go with us. He is our Emmanuel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, this morning, allow me, praise God, to discuss what Paul, praise God, was talking about in his letter to Timothy. Because Paul exhorts to Timothy to be bold, praise God. And he said that God had not given us the spirit of fear. God did not give us the spirit of fear. Did you hear me? But He gave us the spirit of power, the spirit of love, and the spirit of a sound mind. Praise God. If you receive these three, now, just imagine with me how powerful you are. I think we can beat every challenges in this life because God has given us power, love, and sound mind. I will show you scriptures, praise God, before I will discuss deeper, praise God, in these three things. We need to recognize and we need to activate what we receive. There are so many Christians today, praise God, hallelujah, that they forgot and they did not recognize that this, hallelujah, spirit of power, love, and sound mind is already inside of them. And Paul told Timothy that you need to stir up this gift that is in you. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. The number one Paul wrote to Timothy is that he said, We receive power. Now, I will give you verses about power. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8, very familiar to us. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And that ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. This power will make you a legit witness. Praise God. Hallelujah. Of the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. What else? We must remember that after the Holy Ghost will come, we will receive that kind of power. But we must remember what Paul said. 
Hallelujah. Let every soul be subject unto high powers. He was talking about the authority and governments. For there is no power but of God. Every power, every structure of authority and even powers, praise God, even if it is in darkness or whatever powers, whether they be thrones or no thrones, can be seen or cannot be seen. All power is of God. You must remember that. Hallelujah. The power that... Uh, be are ordained of God. Now, in this context, Paul was talking about that we must submit to the government. We must submit to higher powers and authority or even praise God, hallelujah, the leadership of men here for peace and security and for, you know, praise God, hallelujah, for coherence or for the good of the society. All power, praise God, hallelujah, is of God. You must remember that. Now, he did not give us the spirit of fear, but he gave us the spirit of power. Hallelujah. Even the power of the enemy, praise God, hallelujah, that is subservient to the power of God. It always obey, hallelujah, to the overrolling of the power and purpose of God. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 16 verse 25, Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since the world began. This power that he has given to us, praise God, will help you to establish, praise God, according to the gospel that Paul preached. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18, For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved is the power of God. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 5, the Bible said, That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Now what I'm, what I'm going to emphasize to you this morning is that the Bible said God had not given us the spirit of fear, praise God. But as I mentioned in the scriptures, God has given us the spirit of power. God has given us power. Now we need to recognize that. And not just we need to recognize it, we need to activate it. Praise God. I call this the, praise God, Acts 1.8 activated. Praise God. Hallelujah. So the number two, praise God, part, hallelujah, is about love, he said. He did not give us the spirit of fear. Now, these are all my introductory part here. Praise God. I'm building up the message this morning. He did not give us the spirit of fear. But he gave us love. Now I, I have studied this praise God. And I already um, preached it online in our short Bible lessons. About a God I can understand. Praise God. Why God revealed himself to his creation. To his creatures. Because first and foremost God is love. And love demands an object to love. That is why God reveals himself to his creation. Praise God. Hallelujah. So there are two components of love as I mentioned it before and you know it in your notes that love demands communication and love demands fellowship. Because there are these are two components to have a true love. There must be communication. There must be a fellowship. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, God has given us the spirit of love. Now, I will show you the scriptures, praise God, I'm, that I may refresh your mind or even remind you, hallelujah, the love that God has shed abroad in our heart. And there are some, praise God, biblical examples here that gives us a, a, what, yeah, a true definition or true understanding about this love. Let me show you in 1 John chapter 4, verse 11. Beloved, if God so love us, we ought also to love one another. Praise God. God has commanded us to love one another because He has given already the spirit of love. What's the use of that gift? What's the use, hallelujah, that God has poured out His love in our heart and then we don't love each other? So God has a commandment, hallelujah, because God loves us, we ought also to love one another. Here we go in verse 12. No man hath seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us. And his love is perfected in us. Wow, praise God. What a powerful verse. If we love one another, his love, praise God, is perfected in us. Praise God, hallelujah, because God dwells in us if we love one another. Now, 
He did not, remember, He did not give us the spirit of fear, but He gives us the spirit of love. He gives us love. And when you when we recognize that God gives you the spirit of love, all you need is to activate that love. How? We need also to love one another. Praise God. Because when we do that, God dwells in us. And the Bible said His love is perfected in us. I show you more. Praise God. Hallelujah. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 2, But this we know that we love the children of God. When we love God and keep His commandments. Okay? 5.3 for this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments, and this commandments is not grievous. Praise God. Second John 1, 6. And this is love. If you don't know what is love, this is love. That we walk after His commandments. So if God has given us the spirit of love, we can know that this is really love. If we walk in His commandments, this is the commandment. What's the commandment? That as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. What was the commandment that we have heard from the very beginning? The Bible said, hallelujah, that we should love one another. Praise the Lord. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, in 2 John, praise God, 1, 6, it says that this is love. That we walk after his commandments. Now there are the, the last word or the last idea that Paul told Timothy that God did not give us the spirit of fear, but he gave us power. I already showed the scriptures. He gave us the spirit of love. And the last one is a sound mind. Did you hear me? Sound mind. Now I want to pause for a little. Praise God. What do you think? Can you imagine? If a single Christian can just recognize and activate what he received, power, love, sound mind, sound mind, the highest level of sobriety, praise God. Do you think that you will be defeated in this life if you have power, love, sound mind? Do you think, praise God, you will fear this pandemic if you have power, love, Sound mind? Do you think it is difficult to love somebody if God has given you the power to do it and the spirit of love to, hallelujah, towards another and a sound mind to yield and to decide, praise God, to do it? Do you think it's difficult to give and to support the work of God if you have power, love, and sound mind? Do you think it is difficult for you to live a holy life if you have power, love, Sound mind. Do you think it is difficult to reach other if you have power, love, sound mind? Do you think it is difficult to worship in difficult situations if you have power, love, sound mind? Allow me this morning, praise God, hallelujah, to talk to you in a few moments. Praise God, hallelujah, when the Bible said, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind. In Titus chapter 1 verse 5, For this cause left I thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the things that are one thing, and ordain elders in every city, that as I had appointed thee. Praise God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God. Because Paul was telling Timothy, Timothy, don't, uh, praise God, uh, about sound mind, should I say, I'm sorry, praise God. Second Thessalonians 2, 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him. Praise God, that ye should not soon shaken in mind or troubled, neither by spirit nor by word or by or letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Praise God, hallelujah. So, when, when the rapture, praise God, subject is being mentioned, Paul here, when tribulation or whatever things, praise God, in the last days is being mentioned, Paul warned the church in Thessalonica that, Ye should not be shaken in mind. Hallelujah. So, if God gives us, praise God, hallelujah, the, the spirit, hallelujah, of a sound mind, we should not worry about it. Praise God. Everybody shall praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. So, sound mind is very, very important. Praise God. It will lead us 
praise God, to a true worship, to the truth. That is why God, hallelujah, gives us this gift, praise God, with a sound mind. Hallelujah. And actually, the Bible also tells us that let us put our mind on the things that are above. Let us fix our mind unto Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, this morning, allow me to start. Praise God. Hallelujah. Whew. When Paul exhort to Timothy to be bold. Praise God. When Paul exhort to Timothy to be bold. When Timothy said, praise, uh, when Paul said in uh, 1.6, Timothy, you need to stir up the gift of God that is in you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Therefore, I remind you, Timothy, to stir up the gift that is in you by the laying of hands. Timothy was a gifted, praise God, was a gifted man. Valuable man for the kingdom of God. But he seems to have had a timid streak on him. For this reason, Paul often encouraged him to be strong and to be bold. It may be that Timothy was somewhat timid. But it is also true that he had large and heavy responsibility as the overseer of God's work in Ephesus and the larger area in Asia Minor. There were many Christians in many congregations meeting all over the whole region, as recorded in Acts chapter 19, verse 9 to 10, and even in verse 17 to 20. Perhaps Timothy was a man of normal courage who had enormous responsibility. If it was true that Timothy was the kind of man who avoided confrontation, it was good that he saw Paul's example. Praise God. Paul was a man of deep love. Paul was a man also who never shied away from confrontation. A significant example was then he publicly rebuked Apostle Peter in Galatians chapter 2, verse 11 to 21. And Timothy already had a shepherd's tender heart for the sheep. And Paul wanted to develop within him the boldness necessary to really lead and protect the flock. Do you know that in 1st and 2nd Timothy, there are no less than 25 different places where Paul encouraged Timothy to be bold, to shine it away from confrontation, to stand up where he needs to stand up and be strong. Because of Timothy. Praise God, because of who Timothy was and the responsibilities he had to bear, this was what Timothy needed to hear. Timothy, God did not give you the spirit of fear. Hallelujah. Therefore, I remind you this morning, people are at all different places. For some, the last thing they need to hear is, you need to be bolder, you need to be strong, you need to be brave. Because that is not their problem. Many others come, praise God, from the place where they need to hear. Stir up the gift of God which is in you. Be bold. Get going. Go for it. Timothy was this second type. Praise God. Some who appear, you know, in the church today, some may appear bold, really just good at pretending. Do you hear me? Some who appear bold really are just good at pretending. They use a confrontational, in-your-face, praise God, attitude to mask a lot of pain and insecurity. They need to become really bold and secure in the Lord instead of pretending and hiding behind a mask of false courage. When the Bible said, stir up the gift which is in you, Timothy could not be passive and just tell and just let it all happen. He needed to be bold and to stir up the gift of God, which is given in him. Some have gifts given to them by God, but those gifts, hallelujah, are neglected. They need to be stirred up and put into action. Praise God, hallelujah. That's what we need this morning. 
You need to recognize that God has given you power, love, and sound mind. You need to activate it this morning. You need to stir it up and use that, praise God, for action. This reminds us that God does not work His gifts through us as if we are robots. That we were robots. Even when He gives a man or a woman a gift, He leaves an element that needs the cooperation of their will, of their desire and drive to fulfill the purpose of the gifts. Did you hear me? Praise God. Hallelujah. God has given you the power, love, and sound mind. Praise God. But He leaves an element that needs a cooperation of your will. You need to yield to the will of God. You need to, praise God, will it. Praise God. Hallelujah. You need to push yourself. God, I need to activate it. I need to use it. Hallelujah. I need to display your power, your love, and sound mind in my life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God also leaves an element. Praise God. That needs the cooperation of our desire, our drive to fulfill the purpose of His gifts. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God. Sister Daisy said, it is not difficult if we have love, power, and sound mind. Yes, Sister Daisy, that those three as, is already in our life. It is already in your life. All you need to do is to acknowledge, praise God, and you need to recognize it. You need to activate it. There is no power in hell, praise God, hallelujah, that can touch the church, that can destroy the church, that can stop, hallelujah, the movement, praise God, of the living God. There is no power in darkness that can stop you in worshiping, in loving our Lord Jesus Christ. Why? God did not give you the spirit of fear, but God has given you power, love, and sound mind. Think about it, praise God, this morning. How privileged you are, how blessed we are that God has given us those three, but He leads, hallelujah, what pastor? An element that needs a cooperation, praise God, hallelujah, of their will, desire, and drive to fulfill the purpose of these gifts. You know, there are some Christians, they are waiting passively for God to use them. Oh, I'm waiting for God. I'm waiting for a voice. I'm waiting for a still small voice. I'm waiting for an angel to appear. This morning, I, hallelujah, I challenge you, church. Praise God, do not wait passively for God to use them. Do you know that God is waiting for them? Praise God, and God is waiting for you to stir up the gifts that are within you. Hallelujah. He lives. Praise God. Some are waiting for some dramatic new anointing of God. Oh, did you hear me? Some are waiting for a dramatic anointing, new anointing from God. Oh, if Pastor O'Donnell can lay hands on me. Praise God. Hallelujah. If Pastor, if Pastor so-and-so can lay hands on me, I think, hallelujah, I can activate. I can use the gift that is within me. Church, listen to me. God is waiting for you. God is waiting for them to stir up what He has already given. Hallelujah. God did not give us the spirit of fear. Do you know in this pandemic, most Christians deactivate the spirit of fear. They recognize the spirit of fear. Hallelujah. God did not give us that. Hallelujah. What we need to recognize and activate, praise God, this morning is the spirit of power, the spirit of love, and the spirit of a sound mind. Stir up. Hallelujah. Come on. Stir up. Hallelujah. Do you know what's the word stir up? Praise God in the Greek meaning in its original praise God. Hallelujah word. The word stir up has an idea of stirring up a fire to keep up burning bright and strong. A fire left to itself will always burn up and die. But God wants us to keep our gifts burning strong in Him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Or for Him. The Greek word anasophoryu. Did you hear me? The Greek word anasophoryu. That's stir up. Hallelujah. Means either to kindle afresh or to keep in full flame. Hallelujah. There is no necessary suggestion in the text. Therefore, that Timothy has lost his early fire. There, there is no suggestion or hint or a clue that Timothy lost. His early fire, praise God. Although undoubtedly, like every Christian today, he needed an incentive to keep the fire burning at all flame. That is why we need fellowship. That is why we need, praise God, someone, praise God, your prayer partner. You, we need the body of Christ. We need its other. Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah. So in order that the fire will continue to burn, 
Praise God, burning. We need to add some fuel. We need to add firewood. The firewood of worship. The firewood of prayer. The firewood, praise God. Everything. L let us this. Let us, praise God, hallelujah, stir up. Stir up means let us keep those gifts in full flame. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And this, you know, these giftings, when Paul said, which is in you through the laying of my hands, God used the laying on of hands to communicate spiritual gifts to Timothy. This is not the only way God, you know, give gifts to his people. But it is common way, praise God, and a way that we should never neglect in laying hands. It is a good thing to have others pray for us. That is why, if possible, praise God, you can meet four by four, wear your mask, keep social distancing, meet there, let your leader pray for you, let us pray one another. Praise God, hallelujah. It is a good thing that someone and others also pray for us. Praise God. And ask that God would give us gifts that might be used to bless and build up the family of God. Do you hear me? Praise God. We have no right to assume that hands were laid on Timothy once only. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 9 verse 17 and Acts chapter 13 verse 3 are two such occasions, praise God, in which St. Paul's, praise God, spiritual life was being mentioned. There maybe had been others, praise God, hallelujah, recorded. Or even instances that was not recorded in the book of Acts. Why Timothy can be bold in using the gifts God has given him? God has given him the spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, as I mentioned many times. Hallelujah. Paul saw the timidity that was in Timothy. Timothy knew the fear he sometimes felt. God wanted to Timothy to know that this fear was not from God he served. He needed to know that God was not giving us a spirit of fear. Because we all face situations when we feel timid and afraid. Hallelujah. For some, you know, for some Christians, speaking in front of others makes them fearful. Others are afraid of confrontation. Others of being made to look foolish. Others are afraid of rejection. We all deal with fear every day in our life, in our lifetime. The first step in dealing with such fears is to understand that they are not from God. I, did you hear me? The first step in dealing with such fear, any category of fear, praise God, we need to understand that they are not from God. It is a significant step to say, this is not God making me feel like this. When you feel fear in your heart, praise God, you, you, can, you, can, you can talk to yourself, oh, this is not God making feel me like this. God hasn't given me this. Perhaps it is from personality. Sometimes fear comes from personality. Perhaps a weakness of the flesh, since that is the nature of the flesh. Perhaps a demonic attack. Praise God. But for sure, that is not from God. Hallelujah. But God has given us the power, love, and sound mind. Now, the second step in dealing such fear is understanding what God has given us. Okay? The first step was to understand that they are not from God. And the second step, praise God, is to understand that God... We need to understand what God... Okay, that's, this is what should I say. What God has given to us. He has given us the spirit, power, love, and sound mind. When we do His work, when we proclaim His word, hallelujah, we represent His kingdom. We have all His power supporting us. His power is the greatest backup when we stand and live according to His word. So we are safe in His hands wherever we go. God has given us also the spirit of love as I mentioned a while ago. This tells us, hallelujah, lot about the power He has given us. Many think of power in terms of how much we can control others. Many think, praise God, that power, praise God, is all about, hallelujah, controlling others. But Jesus' power is expressed in how much we can love and serve others. Wow, hallelujah. On the night before the cross, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into His hands, and He knew already who will betray Him, and what He did with all that power, He humbly washed the feet of His disciples. Oh, 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. As recorded in John chapter 13 verse 1 to 11. God has given us, hallelujah, sound mind. Sound mind. Now do you know that the ancient Greek word here about sound mind had an idea of a calm, self-controlled mind. Self-controlled mind. In contrast to the panic and confusion that comes in a fearful situation like in this world today. Hallelujah. Not giving us the spirit of fear, but of power and love. We don't need to accept what God has not given us. Praise God. And we do need to humbly receive, recognize and activate and walk in what he has given us. What God did not give us, don't walk in it. Don't receive what God did not give. What God has given to us, that's the thing that you must receive and activate. Hallelujah. Now Paul wrote to Timothy because boldness matters. Did you hear me? If you are a coordinator, if you are a leader, if you are a minister of the gospel, praise God, hear me once again. Boldness matters. That is why Paul told Timothy, stir up the gift that is in you. Be bold, be strong. Hallelujah. God's purpose is more than making money. God's purpose is more than being entertained. God's purpose is more than being comfortable. It is for each of us to use the gifts He gives to touch. Hallelujah. His people and help a needy world. Help those people who are blind of the truth. Help those people who are wounded in the spirit. Hallelujah. He has given us this power and love and sound mind. Praise God. We need to activate today. This is all about, hallelujah, souls. Praise God. This is about evangelism. This is about, praise God, hallelujah, how to help the body of Christ. Hallelujah. To build up the family of God. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Do you know that fear and tim timidity? will keep us from using the gift of God, hallelujah, that has already been given. If we have timidity and fear, praise God, hallelujah, that gift, that power, love, and sound mind, hallelujah, is already, in other words, it is already uh, in a mood, praise God, that is being stuck there inside of you. God wants us, it's to take His power. God wants us, it's to take His love. God wants us, it's to take a sound mind, a calm and thinking and overcoming mind, hallelujah, against fear. To be used of Him with all the gifts that He gives, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. New Life Fellowship, Saints in Macau, Putan Campus, and Dibi, hear me in my conclusion this morning. Jesus Himself warns us that in this world, we would suffer tribulations and trials. Do not fear when He said that. But he also urged us to remember that he has overcome the world. When he said, praise God, be of good cheer for I have overcome the world. And he added his words, praise God in the New Testament, for greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Do you know, hallelujah, that this statement refers to the spirit of Antichrist that already works now in this present time. But the writer said, Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Do you hear me loud and clear? Clap your hands. Hallelujah. You are on the winning side. You are on the affirmative side. Hallelujah. You are, praise God. Hallelujah. In the will of God. Timothy was exhorted in these two verses to reignite the flickering film, a flame, should I say, of his faltering faith. For although he was saved by grace, through the faith in Christ, he was timid and afraid and felt being pressurized by the increasing hostile world in which we all live right now. But like him, we need to remember who we are in Christ and that we have not given a spirit of fearfulness and timidity, but one of power, love, and sound judgment and a disciplined mind. Did you hear me? He gives us a disciplined mind. We all need power in our lives. Hallelujah, but true strength does not come from relying on our own capabilities, but on Christ Jesus, who has promised that His grace is sufficient for all, his, all the difficulties, hallelujah, and the dangers of this life we may have to face every day. For His strength is made perfect in our weaknesses. For when we are weak in our own abilities, then we become strong, hallelujah, in the Lord and in the power of His might. We all need, hallelujah, the love 
in our lives, as I told you a while ago. But true godly love is not something that we struggle to produce through our own fleshly efforts, but can only be produced in us as a spiritual fruit, as we abide in Christ and He in us. Hallelujah! We all need sound judgment and discipline mind, but we cannot achieve this by self-effort and fleshly struggling. Nor can this be developed through extra biblical training, programs or webinars or online studies. But as we look to Jesus and willingly submit on the ongoing child training and chastening work of the Holy Spirit within, we will experience the inexplicable inner peace that passes understanding. For this is the promise of God to all whose mind is resting in Christ. Do you know, hallelujah, that the brain of a computer is the processor, the CPU, the central processing unit. But even if it is intact and complete, without the power source, hallelujah, it's nothing. That is why when God, hallelujah, gives us these gifts, hallelujah, I tell you, church, I tell you, He gives us complete. There's no lacking. We are complete in Christ. Hallelujah. This morning, it's my prayer to all who are watching me right now. Recognize now. Activate now what you received from Christ. He did not give you the spirit of fear, but He gives you power, love, sound mind. Hallelujah. That is why I believe that we can turn this world upside down. Hallelujah. If New Life Fellowship saints will just recognize and activate, hallelujah, this three, power, love, and sound mind. Hallelujah. There is no darkness in this world. There is no situation in this world that we cannot overcome. Hallelujah. Because Christ, hallelujah, and His gifts is already inside of us. All you need to do is to activate it right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let the Holy Ghost will connect in your heart right now. Let your mouth will speak in other tongues. Hallelujah. Praise God at this very moment. As you close your eyes, hallelujah, as you put your headsets, praise God, or your earphones in your ear, you can close your eyes and stop, praise God, making a type for the comment section. Stop right there, praise God, and connect, hallelujah, to the power of God. And it's time for us, hallelujah, this morning to recognize. Can you recognize with me? I have that power. I have that love. I have that sound mind. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name will activate that inside of you. But remember, He lives. Hallelujah, praise God. Oh, He lives you also. A cooperation that you need to yield to His will, desire, and drive, and purpose. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, I feel the power of God. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. This morning, Lord. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for your indwelling spirit. And thank you that our life is hid with Christ in God. Thank you, hallelujah, that you have not given us the spirit of fearfulness. Thank you, God, and we are going to recognize and activate this morning, hallelujah, the gift that you have given to us, one of power, love, and of a sound mind. We may not fear rejection or ridicule in this increasing hostile world, hallelujah, nor fear the likelihood of persecution, pain, or even death. And me, we pan into flame our faith in Christ so that in Him we may stand firm in the evil day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, hallelujah, and amen. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, God, Jesus, hallelujah. Come on, let the spirit of revival, hallelujah, will touch your heart. Let the spirit of revival, praise God, hallelujah, will come into your heart. Can you recognize this morning? Can you activate it right now? Let your, let your mouth will speak in tongues. Hallelujah, receive it in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Maigi ang buhay ng 
Bayapasa.